What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on our video, smash my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction, hit my email up at knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com. Don't forget I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live every Sunday morning with KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get to it. Let's get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today, we got a fight prediction. 10-round heavyweight fight. Tony Yoka makes his return after suffering his first defeat against Carlos Tacom. This is going down on ESPN+. Plus. Yoka's 30 years old out of France. Orthodox fighter, 6'7", with an 82-inch arm reach. Then you got Carlos Tacom, 42 years old, six foot one with an 80 inch arm reach. Um, is that correct? I guess that's right. Is that right? Out of Cameroon, my bad, y'all. Uh, Tacom is 39 years old um, with a 39, I'm sorry, 39 wins, seven losses, one draw with 28 wins by way of knockout. He's been knocked out four times. Tony Yoka's 11 wins, one loss with nine wins by way of knockout. This is a huge bounce back fight for Tony Yoka. And he's getting in there with a dude that's well past his prime, but to come is tough. He gonna throw with you. He gonna try to counter you. He awkward, you know what I'm saying? And he a, he a fighter. He done been in there with everybody you can think of: Povetkin, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker, Derek Chisora, Joe Joyce. Like he in there with everybody. Carlos to come is, but um Tony Yoka man he got a good jab. He got good power. Um he can move well in the ring. But he moves in a lot of straight lines. Defense ain't that good. And he, since he don't have a lot of upper body movement, he easy to time. And he got countered a lot against Bacoli. Bacoli put it on him. He is a former Olympic gold medalist, so he got good amateur boxing pedigree. But um, for some reason, he just ain't. He just ain't hit the. You know what I'm saying? He ain't hit that that level you expect from the highly decorated amateurs. For Carlos to come, coming off two losses in a row. He's taking a lot of punishment, but he's tough, but he's very short and very small for heavyweight. And that's, and that's the problem that he runs into is that it's so much distance for him to close. It's so hard for him to reach guys. And so guys that got a good jab and some good pop, they can just, you know, outpoint him from the outside. Boom. Then they can hurt him. And then when they start hurting him, they can start walking to him. They can hurt him and start walking to him. So... Um, and he's 42 years old, 12 years older than um, Tony Yoka. And Tony Yoka, basically, this is a must-win fight. If he don't win this fight, he might as well go do something else because now you're just going to be somebody, hey, we need an Olympian on our resume that we can beat their ass. All right, bro. You, like, if you lose this fight, if you Tony Yoka, you're going to start getting phone calls from Jerry Big Baby Anderson. Yeah, Joe Joyce going to hit you up for a stay busy fight. Yeah, and I believe he beat Joe Joyce in the amateurs, bro. So he had he, he was he was doing good, but he didn't stay active since winning the gold medal in 2016. He didn't fight the proper type of competition as he moved up in the ranks. And as a result, when he stepped up to Bacoli, Bacoli put them paws on him. So if you want to win this and get your career back on that upward trajectory, bro, you got to win this shit. Because if you start losing the 42-year-old Carlos Tacon, you're going to be in trouble. But as far as like the breakdown of the fight, man, I just think Tony Yoka, way too long. He got a good enough jab. He's going to be hungry in this fight. He's the younger fighter. And Carlos to come, he's going to be trying to throw them overhand rights and shit. He's going to be trying to counter and shit. I just think he, he he slowed down a lot at 42 years old. He's always been small for the weight class, and he's taking a lot of punishment. And I think Tony Yoka, working behind his jab, is going to be able to work behind a nice power jab and then, you know, get his way, get his way to – um. Carlos to come and slowly break him down and slowly possibly stop him. Um, I think to come is a very, very tough fighter, but they're fighting in France. And so I think if Tony Yoka gets him in a little bit of trouble, hurts him, wobbling him, the ref going to be quick and they're going to get Tony Yoka to stop us to build that confidence up and get him back on what they feel like is the right track. So I'm going with the younger fighter with the stronger jab, the guy that's longer. And you know, the, the when you're looking at boxers and they're good or whatever, and you got somebody in their 40s, and, and the person that's younger got the better jab, too. And a dude that's in his 40s already was kind of a journeyman level. I'm going to go with the younger fighter, man. I think it's a bounce-back performance for Tony Yoka. I think he looks good in this fight and tries to rebuild on the career after losing 
um, to Martin Bacola. So I'm going Tony Yoka by stoppage about round five. Round five, between round five and round seven. Because Carlos to come, you ain't just going to get rid of him with one shot for the most part. You got to beat him up, break him down. Beat him up, break him down, get him tired, let that age kick in. By the time it's undefeated in mid to late rounds, you turn up on him. I think that's what Tony Yoka is going to do. So that's my pick. Tony Yoka by stoppage between round five and round seven. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.